Hey guys, welcome back. So, first video of the new place. I'll give you a quick tour of it real quick. So, this side is going to be all the woodworking and whatnot, uh, workbenches and whatnot. Don't mind that. I got a lot of cleaning up. I still got to do. I got to get all that set up. Got table saw, band saw, all my other stuff down here. These I'll have to pull out and use them when I need them to plane and sander. And that, I still got things on there too. Workbench, today's video. Got the chop saw down here. And over here is going to be the mechanic side of it. Work on the vehicles and whatnot. Got the mowers down right now. Like I'm waiting on a part for it. Rear end sitting over there on that workbench right there. And I'm waiting on a part for it. Uh, I'll be getting it Friday, hopefully. And that'll be up and going. That's been down since we moved. And got a full length wall uh, workbench over here. So that, that's gonna help out quite a bit on some stuff. So let me get you back over here. So that's the shop. I got a lot more room than I did at the other place. So my throat's a little hoarse because uh, last the last week I've been dealing with the spider bite on the inside of my left leg, and this one was bad. I've never had a spider bite before, but man, a lie, this thing is bad. It uh, swelled. Uh, I got a little black spot on my leg about the size of a somewhere between a quarter and a 50 cent piece and a rash of some sort that grew up just grew and grew and grew and it just started wrapping around my leg so uh, I'm currently dealing with that I'm on the downhill side of it so that's not that bad big of a deal now I don't think it's not nearly as hurting as what it did so I, I, I've been dealing with that. So, uh, and a bunch of other things. Uh, so, I am on to the Redneck Flare Gun. Redneck Flare Gun I made years back. Made this whenever I was probably, I don't know, somewhere in the 10 to 14 years, a, a year old age and I'm wanting to remake it. So I've got a two by 12, I think is what this is, I wanna make it out of. And of course, after we get, after I make it up, I wanna test it out and of course get it on, on video as well. And if this takes off, like I'm hoping it does, I'll make the little uh, waist shooter I'll redo this one a little bit. So, if you guys, if you guys like this video, this, this, this will be the next well, one of the next ones I do. So, let me know. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this thing apart. Go ahead and get this cannon off of here, and uh, start breaking down the stock. So. Now we're gonna start tracing it out and start utilizing it as a template. So let's get a move on. Oh, I did forget to mention the reason why I even made this. So back whenever I did make this, the house that we lived in was up on a hill and with trees around it and everything, but down below, down on the hill and below it was nothing but open grass. And well, we got tired of shooting uh, artillery up in the air and not being able to see it because it was covered by the trees. So that following summer, afterwards, I I tried, kept on trying to come up with an idea to be able to alleviate that issue. So I was, one day I was goofing out in the barn and found this old gun stock, and that's where this took off 
and that's where this came from. So I'm going to try to completely redo it. As you can tell, there's some cracks, some main cracks right in through here, and this is not the best. And I mean, it's just it's it's not that grand, and it's not terribly safe. I mean, it's already not safe, but it's all it's not much safe now. It's not very safe. So I'm gonna tear this thing apart, clean, uh, redo it, and or rebuild it. Make it a little bit safer and hopefully a little bit neater. Make it look a little bit cooler. So, yeah, now let's get on to it. So day two, I'm hoping to be able to fit, wrap this up today. So all I gotta do now is set up this back brace across the back here and do a platform. Now on that platform, I'm not gonna do plywood like I did before. I'm actually gonna use some hardwood and basically wrap it around there wrap it around the stock of it that way uh it comes down and covers it more and instead of reason on the hardwood is well because plywood uh, over time has a higher chance of just falling apart i want it to make sure to try to make it last and the strapping deal that's going to be 
I don't know what I'm going to do about it exactly. How I'm going to, going to incorporate the leather straps on this. I have an idea, but I'm not 100% certain how I want to do it. So what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is on the strap, whenever I have it on, I'll have it nailed on one side, two, two straps. I'll have it nailed on each, uh, two, fully nailed on one side. And on the other side, use these little uh, metal grommets that I have, or aluminum, little, they're little uh, metal grommets. And have on this side, a nail head just sticking out and as uh, just smaller than the oh, just smaller than the size of the hole for the grommet that way i can bring it around and just kind of hook it onto the head and i'll have to see what i can do about that see if i can find me a couple of nails that will work or screws either way i don't want to use screws what in the world nets or something uh Use uh, nails or screws or something on this side to uh, keep it tight. Now, I'll be able to do multiples of them, probably every half inch or so. And uh, that way I can be able to take this off and use a different, use a different uh, cannon. So, that's the going thought process right now. So, let's go ahead and get this back brace built up and... Go from there.
inside got it done i didn't realize that my camera died on me out there so i got it sanded down this mounted and sanded down i went with nails basically framing framers uh, framing nails on this be, primarily because of the sheer strength of it they're they're more prone to not sheer it's compared to uh compared to screws so I went ahead and did up that uh, used used those instead, and I did two through the top into here, into this middle piece, three across the bottom into the lower on both sides, and of course the three through the top. And uh, I'm going to end up using I was going to use leather, but decided against it. Uh, I'm going to use this nylon, uh, nylon wrap, and I'll of course be cutting it down to size, but this way I can secure it and not really have to worry about having to get the right hole f for it. Have to worry about an in-between size. So... Because that's that's the last thing I want to freaking do is have to hassle with the with an in between size. So I end up do, using strap, like not uh, using nylon straps. Now one thing I am definitely wanting to do is go ahead and burn this. I'm going to uh, take my torch and just kind of torch it, turn it to a little bit darker color, and throw some windseed oil on it, and. Uh, then go ahead and do the straps after that. So, all right, uh, let me, let's go ahead and get on to it then.
All right, so I decided against testing this out. Uh, because here in Kansas, we've been having having 100 degree weather for the last couple of three weeks. And things are pretty freaking dry up on the surface here. So I don't really feel like possibly catching anything on fire with this because this does shoot it out more vertical instead of horizontal like it's supposed to i kind of just want to make sure that things stay uh stay off the ground better uh and if it does i want it to be able to go out well i would have little to no chance of igniting so i will be waiting for the next time that it rains and i will be testing it, this out and and i will be getting it on video as well i've got uh, what is it? I think 10 shots. I think I'll be able to put through this So we'll uh, we'll definitely get through uh, We'll definitely we'll definitely run some shots through this to actually try it out uh, There will be there will be changes through on this on the bracing part and time to come Because then the more I shoot it the more flaws will show for the strapping system so I'll, I'll I'll be making adjustments as I go along, and this is this is so neat. I'm really anxious to fire it. So, uh, I think I went through everything on this on the upgrades, but you can definitely tell from the old one to the new one the differences here, and the difference is primarily here, because. Mainly for safety reasons, this this entire support system here has been upgraded, and it's a heck of a lot better than what it was. That's for sure. So this will be part one of two. This will come later on. Just we gotta get some rain here in Kansas in order for me to do this. I'm just really leery about starting something up because with all these wildfires I've been hearing. About across the states, I really, I really don't want to be the one that causes the one here in Kansas. So let's go ahead and get on to, to the video verse. So th this video verse is in James chapter five, verses one through what was it six? Chapter five, verses one through six. It says, "Come now, you rich people, weep and wail. Oh, weep and wail. Weep and wail." over the miseries that are coming on you your wealth has rotted your clothes are moth eaten your gold and silver are corroded and their corros corrosion will be a witness against you and will eat your flesh like fire you have, st you have stored up treasure in the last days look the pay that you withheld from the workers who mowed your fields cries out and the outcry of the harvesters has reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived luxuriously on the earth and have indulged yourselves and have indulged yourselves. You have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. You have condemned, you have murdered the righteous who does not resist you. And that is James chapter 5 verses 1 through 6. And I'll see you guys in the next one.